it. Bring in Ole Miss. Lane <laughs> Kiffin coming back live on the scene. All right, Ole Miss. Lane Kiffin, our favorite, probably our favorite coach besides Saban. When you Kirby. Kirby. Oh yeah, Kirby. All right, quarterback problems. He's got some major quarterback problems, and then he is that he don't know who to start. Jackson Dart, 3,600 yards, or Spencer Sanders, transferred from Oklahoma State, 3,000 yards last year. Matt, why don't you take a guess how many career yards Sanders has? Just just take you a wild guess there. Mm, 10,000. 11,000. Close, close. And, you know, I hate to say this, and Coach Short, you agree with it. Matt, you'll not agree with it. If I'm an Ole Miss fan, I don't care which one of them gets it. They're going to have the greatest – either way, that's good. Jackson Dart's good. I think personally think Dart will win it, and if he messes up or gets hurt, Sanders will be in. Uh, so, he's set at quarterback. Uh, I think he's pretty set at running back. Would you – Judkins is – Oh, God, man, come on. 1,567 yards, 16 touchdowns. Yeah. Uh, how he got out of state Alabama, Saban and – well, my, what's the name was here then? Pike Road. Pike Road. There's no way they should have, but I mean, Royal and them, uh, yeah, but now it's, mm-hmm. it's we, we don't we ain't seen him play, but right. are we gonna say he's better than Junkins? Mm-hmm. I mean, we ain't seen him play yet, so we can't say that. Nah, I think Junkins is the best back or has the potential to be the best back in the in the conference, him yeah. and Rocket Sanders. Yeah, Brandon Taylor says that Hal is selling how to on the air raid. Books at high school coaches are making a killing. Huh. Well, um, back to Ole Miss right quick. You got Dart Sanders. And, you know, who knows? Kippen may do this. Tuplet, he may run Jackson Dart for four series and Sanders for four series. And you got Judkins, too. That's just going to be tough to stop. There are a whole old lines back, Matt. All of them except one. And the backup's got a ton of experience. They did lose their top two receivers, but they got a all-conference pick transfer in from Louisiana Tech, Trey Harris. T- take a while, guess how many passes Mr. Harris caught last year? Uh, um, 42. 93. Nine. Uh, <laughs> I will send you to Jesus. <laughs> it sounds like he'll send a DB to Jesus. <laughs> And Chris Marshall from A&M, who was going to be in the rotation at A&M. So, guys, this Ole Miss offense is going to be a juggernaut. you got Dart, Sanders, whole line, uh, Judkins. you got this Trey Harris and Marshall. They've got two receivers help that were in the rotation last year back. Michael Trigg is a solid tight end. He's one of the best tight ends in the conference. Transferred from USC. I think they're going to be unstoppable offensively. But the problem last year was not their offense, and uh, I think you know where it was, right? Defensive side of the ball. So he brought in Pete Golding, who Alabama fans aren't crazy about. But let's just face it, he wasn't terrible. Did you think he was terrible? Not terrible is probably not a, a accurate word. It's not a – he just wasn't good. He put – the defense in situations, I, I'm not going to get on 10 minutes spill because I just didn't care. Mm-hmm. It's his schemes. He did not. He didn't he, like his schemes. He didn't. He had, uh, he would have all linebackers. Like on third and two, he would have all linebackers up on the line. We had no linemen right. on the field. We would have no defensive linemen on the field on short yard situations. Right, right. Yeah. What is he doing? Yeah. I mean, I'm not a, I'm not a college defensive coach by any stretch of the means, but. He seemed to puzzle people. At uh, times. Why, why are we? But I think with the experience he gained from being in Alabama, he's going to be tough. Sure. And uh, But they gave up 31 points a game last year, Matt. And down the stretch, they gave up 35 in the last four or five games. They lost the last – well, they lose the last four ball games, four of the last six, five of the last six. Yes. Yeah. And it was bad. But defensively, they get Pete Golden. Their whole D line's back. That's Jared Ivey, Cedric Johnson, J.J. Pegues. So they're solid there. Linebackers, they have Monty Montgomery transferred from Louisville. He made 70 tackers from Louisville at Louisville last year. And they have the number one freshman linebacker in the country in Sunterine Perkins. 
So they should be solid up the middle. We got a good D line. You said check mark. Okay, we're gonna give them a thumbs up on D line. We're gonna give them a thumbs up at linebacker. Uh, secondary, both safeties are back. They lost one corner, but they have Deontay DeAndre Prince back. They got Young and Washington back at safety. That's Isham Young and Trey Washington started last year. Uh, but they got a ton of transfer DBs. Yes. Ton of transfer. Yeah, DBs. Jeff just said, you know, they have, you know, what, 20 something, you oh, know, transfers come in. It's ridiculous. I mean, they're up there close with the Florida State area, the yeah. transfers in Colorado. Yeah. Right, right. I don't know, man. I just, they look very strong to me. We're fixing to go over schedule. Yeah. So they got the best quarterback combo in the conference. We don't know about their receivers yet, but I've got caught 93 passes at uh, Louisiana Tech. Is not going to come to Ole Miss and not be able to catch. Uh, Judkins is best top three back in the in the in the country probably, definitely in the conference. Lines good, D lines good, linebackers are okay, DBs okay. I think they're going to have a good year, but let's just look and make sure at this schedule. Okay, you got it pulled up. Yep, September second. All right, Mercer. Yeah, that's a win. I think that's a win. Here's an interesting game. At Tulane. Very interesting. Tulane, who went great last year, beat USC. I'm assuming they lost a lot from last year's team. Yeah. But at Tulane, is there a chance, Matt? Is there a chance that Ole Miss drops that? Yeah. But do you think they will? I, there's a chance. I, I mean. <clears throat> you think that's just kind of a coin flip on that one? They're going down and playing them at Tulane. That's not going to be a uh, a cushy pushy. It's not going to be a. It's not going to be an easy game. I don't think so either. Georgia Tech, which I do think Georgia Tech will be better, but I don't think it will matter. They play them at home. Yeah, be a win. I think they'll win that. They go to Bama. If this game was in Ole Miss, I might give Ole Miss a nudge, but not in Tuscaloosa. I think they lose that. Mm. Here we go, LSU at home. That's huge. That's huge. Can they upset LSU? Well, they do have a match, fought him and waste daddy. They are playing at home. Then they have Arkansas the next week, starting in the October. At home, right. Both of those at home. Now, coming off the Alabama game, which they are going to be at Tuscaloosa. Mm-hmm. Uh, Bama and LSU back to back. He should have like tried to burn that. He should try to get out of that. I don't know. I mean, you just kind of have to take what it is. But you're going to be playing the uh, apparently – they go by last year stuff, I guess, six and seven team. Mm-hmm. So you just I, you lose the game to Bama, and that game's probably going to be, I bet it'd be a two thirty game. They usually play them at two thirty, and the LSU game being at home, I bet it was going to be a night game because they're not going to play a two thirty game back to back because they already got two games, Mercer and Tulane. The Tulane game's at two thirty on September the ninth. That's a big game. Now, guys, if you're not doing anything on September 9th, you need to watch Ole Miss and Tulane. That is a big game. I do think Ole Miss comes out in that. I don't think they beat Alabama because it's in Tuscaloosa. Man, I'm going to – No, they're not beating LSU. You don't think they'll beat LSU? Okay. Three and two. Three and two. All right, I do think they beat Arkansas at home. I think they beat Auburn on the Plains. Five and two. That that ain't the Plains, is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Five and two. (laughs) I think they beat Vandy. Man, Auburn's got looks like a lot of nice home games. You notice that? Yeah, yeah, they do. They do. I think they beat Vandy six and two. I think they beat A and M seven. Then they go to Georgia. They had Georgia seven and three. Uh, I'm gonna pick them seven and three, and they win their last two nine and three. Matt, man, he's on the exact same page. I had Ole Miss going nine and three. Yeah, I could. And here's what I got now. Listen to this and tell me what you think. If they do beat LSU, I think they lose to A&M or Auburn or Arkansas or somebody. I do not think they beat. If they do upset Bama, I still no matter what happens, they're not going to beat Georgia and Bama. They may upset one of them, but I don't see it. Ten and two at absolute best for Ole Miss. Do you agree with that? No way they go better than ten and two. No, I don't think they even win nine. I think they're going nine and three. They were, they went eight and five last year. Eight and five last year. I think they go. I'm going to predict them to go nine and three. I mean, 
You uh, can see right here, season started out, play Troy. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, six seven and, and oh, seven and oh, going into Baton Rouge and lost 45 to 20. Now, I'd lost have to go back and watch that five. game. Lost four out of five. I'd have to go back and watch that and see what happened. I don't know what happened. Well, you know, a lot of speculation was that Kiffin was just going to Auburn and that took the focus off. Maybe that was during when all that came out. Them doing anything. But they come back the next week and they uh, A&M drops an egg because A&M went on a losing tear. Oh, And man. they beat them 31-28. to 28. Then they were off. And then they come back and lose to Bama, lose to Arkansas, lose to State. And then they play Texas Tech, which I did a spot on. I'm telling you, they're going to be good this year. Don't mm. hide your eggs on Texas Tech Red Raiders because they beat Lane Kiffin them 45-25. Well, the nation, the experts agree with us. I'm not saying that they check with us. Yeah, they do check with us. I but talked to Greg Mack yesterday. Nine and no, three, they got a number 20 in the country. And that's a, that's pretty fitting. Mm. I do think they'll be better than Mississippi State. And I think that they'll probably finish third in the West. Possibly second. They're not going to win the West. No, no, They're no. They're not going to win the West. No. Well, and here's a – so we got them being – Comparable of the same as last year. They're going to win eight or nine games. I, I would think, yes. Definitely. Yeah, I can go on that. Now, here's a question. Now, their offense is loaded. Is, is Lane Kiffin, I mean, what years is this out there for him? You know, six, Not many. About there six years? I don't even know. I don't think it's been that long, has it? Four, five? Hey, you may be right. You mean look it up? 27 or 18. It, what I'm saying is, as long as he's been there, now he's done a pretty good job. He has. And you know what I'm fixing to ask you. What, will he be saving for placement? No. I mean, you've been there a while and you ain't won the West. You're right. not even finishing second in the West. Yeah. yeah. Just third. He's not done as well as Freeze did there, but he's I, been. I, come on, Lane. What do, you know? do you get rid of him? I mean, are we looking? Hey, hello. I mean, I'm ready to move. Uh, you know, ah, I wouldn't think so. I mean, if he wins, if he, what if he only wins seven games this year? He'll get fired with their schedule and their talent. See, from what I see on their schedule, Matt, there's only three teams on their schedule that are better than them on paper. That would be Bama, Georgia, and LSU. So if he goes seven and five, he he's going to be on the hot seat. 110 percent he may be on the hot seat if he goes eight and four <laughs> is there a chance lane kiffin only wins five games next year i, no, no. I don't know i mean it, it but if something stupid like that happens just for, he needs to improve ignorant. they got to be better than eight and five they've I mean, got to be at some point the five. boosters are going to start saying lane we'd like to can you at least be runner up in the west i mean i know bama's kind of running things but is there a possibility Mm -hmm. Sorry. Is there a possibility that you could? Hey, look. I mean, supposedly you're if, you're asking. Yeah, if he wins six, they're going to move on. If he wins six games, they're going to start asking questions. Oh yes, definitely. I think if he goes seven and five, they ask. I don't think they're going to be happy if he goes eight and four. He needs to go nine and four or ten and three well, or eleven and two. No, <laughs> oh, I don't. Yeah, he'll have to beat LSU. <laughs> he could upset LSU. He could upset Bama. I do not think that – and I know y'all are going, well, why would you pick an upset Alabama and not Georgia? They never played Georgia. He don't – Alabama and Ole Miss has become a rivalry. Because of Lane and they've, Saban, though. They've – Alabama – Ole Miss upset them twice since, in the, since me and Matt's been buddies. They've upset Alabama twice. Yes, no, I do not think Ole Miss ever goes into Georgia and upsets them. I don't even remember the last time them two played. But uh, they're not upsetting them both. They might could go 10-2, and two, but I'm picking them 9-3. and three. Jeff thinks he's going to be hitting the road. They're going to win. If they win nine games, they ain't going to run him off. No, no way. No way. No. Oh. Um, but, Jeff, I mean, they're better than 12, nine of the 12 teams on their schedule. Afternoon game at Tulane, the humidity. But, I mean, they, 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 I mean they're right. playing an old Miss. The, the, the humidity is probably that not much substantially different right. from. Right. Well, two lanes in New Orleans and, you know. Ole Miss Oxford, is just Oxford. Yeah, two so hours south. Not far. Three-hour drive. Three-hour drive south. Yeah. 
for Ole Miss. Yeah. Uh, I think he needs to go. So we think he Ole needs Miss to go nine and four. I'm talking about with the bowl game and everything. He needs to improve. He needs to have nine wins. Yes. But if he only has six wins. If he only has six wins, he may get fired with their schedule. Because, I mean, I know we don't have to. And I know I'm beating a dead horse here. And you're like, shut up. Quit saying that. They're better than Auburn. They're better than Arkansas. They're better than Mississippi State. They're better than A&M, Vandy, Tulane. They're better than everybody except Alabama. LSU and Georgia, and there may be boosters going, uh, you need to at least beat Alabama or LSU. Come on now. Look at these quarterbacks you've got. Well, Look the, at this running back. The thing is, he's got to go nine and 